What's up everybody, Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the draw tight trailer hitch ball mount. So this one's gonna have a capacity of 2,000 pounds, but a tongue weight maximum of 200 pounds. When it comes to different types of trailer ball mounts, basically the only thing that really differentiates it is of course the hitch size, so make sure you have an inch and a quarter but also the rise and drop. This one's only gonna give us a rise, and it's about five eighths of an inch of rise. The ball hole size is gonna be about three quarters of an inch, so just make sure you grab one that is that same size so you can pair it up with the right ball. But also you wanna make sure that you grab the right ball for your coupler. So usually you can just look on the coupler and it'll tell you. Like for this instance, this one is a two inch ball, it just says it right there. Um, so just make sure you grab the right stuff and make sure that you piece together the ball and the trailer ball mount so one of them's not going to be eliminate the other. It does come with a pin and clip which is nice and the size hole that it goes through is about a half of an inch so if you do end up losing this we do have some replacements you can grab here at eTrailer. It is a solid shank and it is going to have a steel construction with a powder coated finish and that's just gonna keep it from rusting away over time. It only has one hole, so from the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of our ball, it's gonna be about nine and a half inches, and then from the center of the hitch pin hole all the way out to the very, very edge, it's gonna be about 11 inches. When it comes to trailer hitch <laughs> ball mounts, there really isn't a whole lot of difference between the two. All you gotta do is just one, figure out what size hitch receiver you have, two, want to find the right ball for your coupler, and then three, make sure it just goes through the hole. And you do really want to keep an idea of what kind of rise you're really wanting. This one doesn't have a whole lot, and typically when we see these type of hitches on vehicles, they usually sit kind of low to the ground, as you can see. So I would probably recommend for this car uh, maybe two, maybe three inch rise just to keep the trailer nice and level. So take all of that information to grab the right ball mount for you. And that's basically it for our look at the draw tight ball mount.